everyone, this is Christy. I received new items from In Love Arts and I want to share with you a lot of dice, paper, and also a mini machine. I'm so excited to share with you. I'm going to show you how the dice look and then I'm going to show you the samples. This one comes in a set of two dice, okay? I uh, had to break them apart, okay, like this. And then you have two border dies. I'm going to share with you the samples in papers. Okay, so I need to um, break them all <laughs> apart. These are some letters. It comes um, six words right here. And I'm going to share with you the samples. <laughs> here, a lot of gears. And this is perfect for um, making cards for men. <laughs> Or for travel right um, it comes nine in a set okay so I'm going to cut in two different colors at least and then I have this set of dice that comes two flowers and these are centers I think and this leaf wow that's very tropical let's see how the sample is going to come then this one is another set of two borders and they look like lace I really want to try this one. See, you just break them apart and you have to. This is like a center. You can use it in different ways. Wow. So this one and the last one is a set of hearts. This one looks like doilies and it has a scallop edge right here. And also this one is going to cut two pieces with each die. Can you see right here? Uh, it will be a heart and the edge. It comes seven um, pieces in a set and this is perfect for making shaker cards or frames right okay and the paper that I got is this one I really wanted to try Bronte charm it's a six by six and it looks very shabby chic um, though the pages are not um, with a lot of white but you can mix up with white see and it says that it comes I think two of each so this is the cover and here you have two of these see how beautiful wow look at these flowers two of these is so beautiful and this is like a ivory and it's two of these with little tiny flowers and then two of these um, a lot of um, plants with birds tiny birds perfect for making um, tags and this color to just give accent this is like a peach color I don't know if you can see better on the side then this one with each um, and this one that looks like a tan color okay and again another uh, paper with little tiny flowers then right here look at this one it's um like sage color with roses see then this one with bigger flowers and it's kind of um tan and ivory then another of the sage color with roses so this one can be mixed um, with ivory or white they are going to look fabulous with any of those colors look at this very pale roses and I think this is the last one these are roses too see and it looks like this okay so those are the papers that I got and now I'm going to show you the machine and I'm going to try with you okay but I need to um, take the dice apart I'm going to show you how it comes 
Um, the machine doesn't have a brand, okay? It's a very, very small, it's tiny. You can take it to retreats. You can take it to your friend's house just to play, and it's awesome. I just want to see how it works, but I love the size. And look up here. It comes the plates right here, two plates, okay, in the box. And these are the plates okay and one thing about the plates is the shape i don't know if you can see i'm going to put the white and these plates they have this shape look it gets smaller at the edge okay so when you put your stuff when you put your stuff you put this way for example your stuff is in there then it can get into the machine easily because this one it's smaller than what is in there okay so you will see when i try okay so beautiful and this size is three inches by let me see by six and a quarter okay but it's a uh, three by six and a quarter okay so those are the plates and this is the little tiny giant i said the tiny giant because it's tiny but makes a lot of work i didn't try it yet <laughs> okay look at this i already waited <laughs> because i wanted to know how much it looks so light this one weighs less than two pounds it's one pound and 15 ounces okay in kilograms is less than one kilogram it's 882 grams okay so it looks like this and this is um and this is the handle and right here says that it's a paper cutter okay and and it's made in china and right here it has some rubber on both sides so when you put on the table it doesn't slip okay and this opens like this i'm going to show you okay it, it doesn't have a manual because it's so simple um okay you just open these two sides and then you just put your stuff in there paper and die and then you just pass it through most of the dice that i um chose are small look they can fit in there only this big one can't but uh, then most of them okay so if you are making a lot of flowers this is fabulous i have my evolution advance which is the one that i use the most and look at the size see and it's very very heavy very heavy it, i think it weighs more than 10 pounds for sure okay and this one is so so light i got some scraps and a white cardstock and i'm going to try this one for um the borders okay see you just make a sandwich like this and then you just pass it through okay okay at the beginning i can see that you had to put some um strength right here to push but then it just goes okay so it's just the beginning like that cuddle bag when you just start and then you have to do it a, a little harder but then it goes right so let's see how this one cut and as you can see it did cut very well and the edge right here at the end didn't cut um all the way so i'm going to just do that part and i'm going to put it like this again and i'm going to do that so i'm going to do this one i don't have to do pass it all the way through okay and now it looks like everything is cut okay and just in case i'm going to do the other one and i just noticed that when you pass just one at a time it goes faster it's uh, less heavier okay so i'm going to show you okay just put in one die see it's easier 
so i'm going to show you this one it did cut everything so i'm going to take them out of the die and look at this it's so beautiful look at the lace amazing i love it super gorgeous for my shabby chic projects <laughs> for any card or album beautiful and then the other one i think this one um, are um i think this one match because uh, look at the at the edges look at the edge see you can use this one in the center like a belt and this one matches for the border see so so beautiful so i'm gonna try with another kind of paper okay now i'm gonna try one of the words this one says create and this is one of the set that comes six words and i'm going to just place it in the center as i said it's easier when you cut one at a time so this one is poster board okay it's kind of thick it's thicker than cardstock and this is one of the the papers that i use a lot so i'm gonna try and i'm going to center it so easy very easy to pass it through and the uh tripod is right here so my hand is like <laughs> this way but if i'm doing it straight i'm sure that it's going to be much easier see and it got so clean i love it and this is how the world will look and this is how the world will look see create so beautiful die so i'm gonna try with um scrapbooking paper now and i'm going to um cut this um from the flowers okay that's in cardstock and this is how it cuts see you just press and then you have the whole thing in there and we are going to take them like this because there are so many um, tiny um, stems we need to try to help we don't want to break those stems right so can you see okay and now I'm going to push right here And this is how it cuts it looks like a dandelion but also um this one can be used for centers okay so we are going to put this one in the center of the flower that i'm going to cut and here is the scrapbooking paper that i'm going to try i'm going to try this one okay and i'm going to put it right here and i put the plate and i like that you can see if it's in in the center and you know what i'm going to move this way because it's hard for me to do it on the side and this one has to be straight okay if you put it straight then it's easier to just do it and here i have the flower see so if you want to make a lot of flowers this is going to be awesome and as i said you can take it to retreats you can um just uh, use it for small items that you want to cut and it's a very um small tool that you can have it or you must have it in your stash in love arts um ships to worldwide to every country in the world okay and i think all of the countries but um yeah you can get it online so i'm going to um leave the links in the description box as i said and you can just place this one like one on top of other the other okay like this 
and you can put like this and then put a center and you have a beautiful flower okay so i'm going to um give shape to this one a little more dimension and i'm going to show you how this flower can look it's a very um small machine that um will help a, a lot to your projects and see you can easily take anywhere you just make sure that when you put the dies it's better if you put one or two at a time not like at the first time that i put two uh, on the on the side right here just put in the center and then pass it through and make sure that this one is goes straight okay this one goes straight right here okay on the plates because if you put a little bit crook then it it's stuck so you just have to put it straight and then pass it through and it's going to be very super easy and this is going to be my tiny giant <laughs> because it makes a lot of work and it's so tiny i love it <laughs> now it's been hours working with the machine and dice and i love it i highly recommend you to use this one if you are tired of uh, lifting heavy machines and it's uh, plates are so small that um, it's very easy to do it quickly because uh, you don't have to keep going until the big plates pass through and it's not uh, heavy at all so as you can see it's all worn so these one are like the cuddle box plates that uh, bend a little bit after you pass like 10 or 12 times then you just uh, turn to the other side so it can keep a straight okay um and it depends of the paper if it's too thick that's uh will make it bend so i'm using for cardstock and scrapbooking paper the most and i really really enjoy it it's wonderful and also if you go to retreats or with uh, scrapbook with your friends this is awesome you take your little machine and it's not heavy at all and if you have illnesses like arthritis or rheumatoid arthritis or other illnesses, um, this is perfect. This is perfect. I'm going to show you my samples and all of the dyes that I use, I cut it with this little one, okay? These are uh, one of the dyes that I got and it comes in two. And I use this one in a card and I'm going to show you my card. Is this one right here. Can you see? This is how it looks, okay? And I put just pearls in the center and it looks like lace. And also, and I also used um, this heart um, die. And it's this one right here. It comes seven in a um, set. And I'm going to show you how they cut. I'm going to put the machine on the side and right here this one the second one is this one see you can cut out the center in another color and this one is a word dye that i had in my stash and it said sweet home and i just cut it out the word that says sweet only and this one is how it looks See, and I just put a little bit of lace and um, this flower that I had in my stash. And the next card is this one that says happy birthday. And the dies that you get are these. See, nine. And this is how they look. And this one is the next card. As you can see, I used the paper from the paper pad. And I also use this set of dies right here that comes seven. See? And I use two of them to make the greeting. And I this is one of the dies, uh, the word dies. And then here is um, one of the lace dies. See? I'm going to show you. And these are the dies that I use. Okay? It comes in a set of two and those are like laces too okay and as you can see um this one is the one that i used okay this one and also um for this part up here i use the flower dye and for this um, flower that i made i used 
um, this one right here, okay? This one, and then in the center, I use this part up here. It looks so delicate, so beautiful. And I can make a different kind of flowers using these petals. So I'm going to uh, make another video sharing how to use all of these and make um, different flowers, okay? So, and I put a little lace right here and that's it. So, so cute. And this is how this leaf looks, okay? It's very, very beautiful and it has and it cuts very well. So I'm going to show you now and the last card that I made. And I was using these flower dies too. And it's this one right here. See, I made these um, kind of roses using this die. Okay, I use this die right here and I made these dimensional roses. And you can see right here, the leaf is this one right here. And also, I put some of these, okay, in the back right here. So it can give more uh, fullness to the flower and the card. And this is uh, one of the lace dies that I got. And this is this one right here, okay? The one that you can put in the center. Oh, and I used that one in this card as well. And I use the same die right here, see? So that's how it looks. And I just cut it out, this one, um, a little bigger than the, the word. And this is another word that comes in the set of words. And it says inspire. And it looks so, so cute. I love it. And these are the word dies that comes in a set. Can you see? It says create, sun, bright, shines and then hello and inspire and hello is right here see and inspire is right here see so um those are all of the dice that i received in the sample and i hope you liked my projects and my review of the die cutting machine from in love arts okay so if you have any questions please um Write it in the comments and all the links of these items are going to be in the description box. Thank you very much for watching my videos where you like, your comments and for subscribing to my channel. Have a blessed day everyone.